Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video, I'm DDJ. This is Paladin's Real Talk, and oh my god, did we have one hell of a slobber knocker for you on day two. Um, I got it wrong. Abyss came out fighting. They, they, were no, they weren't taking no quarter, they were there to kill people, okay? Uh, the powerhouse that I thought was Team Eager didn't show up. Uh, sorry Bitey, sorry Cammy, sorry you guys, uh, Z1 Unknown and all that, but... You, where were you? Like, bye bye. Uh, sadly, Eager are now knocked out of the tournament. So are Nocturnes Gaming. Uh, we'll go over some of the uh, uh, quickly go over some of the uh, results, which was I do believe Team Eager versus Abyss. Abyss three zero. Then Abyss came in and three zero Nocturnes that put them at the top of the group. Eager and Nocturnes at the bottom. But finally, getting Burrito onto the stage, we saw Burrito versus Nocturnes Gaming. That was a quick three zero. Literally seven minute games. Uh, then we saw Burrito versus Abyss. Hala! This was one of the best games of all times. So Burris, Bur Burrito, Burris. There we go. How about that? Burris. Bit of Burrito, bit of Abyss. Burrito versus Abyss. Abyss, wow. The first team in tournament play to ever knock out, uh, take games off Burrito. In the last six months. That's insane. In the membrane. Do, 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 do. Yeah, copyright, whatever. Um, <laughs> Burrito took the first game, Abyss took the second game, Burrito took the third game, Abyss took the fourth game, and then Burrito come in 4 2 in the last game. All of these games were extraordinarily close. Please, by all means, go back to Paladin's Game, twitch.tv forward slash Paladin's Games, look at the past broadcasts, go watch these games because they were some of the best games in the history of of paladins uh moving on team eager versus nocturnes gaming eager redeemed themselves getting a free zero over on nocturnes knocked that eager knocked out uh nocturnes nocturnes had to do it to you know go for third place so to say um then burrito versus team eager uh there were some highlights of this match um eager did come out strong they really did uh, you know they came out fighting wanting it and they were taking point controls but then they were getting split and then of course getting picked off one by one after that and this happened throughout the majority of the games uh we did finally get to see timber mill timber mill uh team eager basically just took out full damage right it did work they won the first point but then again start to split get picked off and when the boys look at the uh, vods of that they'll see you know where they went wrong and sadly we say goodbye to eager um you know i was hoping they were going to make the semi-finals but nonetheless only making group stages they got there though they got to worlds both eager in smite and uh palins got to worlds but um nonetheless burrito are in the semi-finals right so quick zeros burrito frio the group abyss came in second with 2-1 eager third place which was 2-1 uh what no 1-2 um uh, because they only got the one win and that was over nocturnes gaming and of course nocturnes in the group of death for them there was no way i called it i said there was no way they can beat these guys and sadly uh nocturnes got 0 3 in the group stage moving on burrito versus abyss was 3-2 eager versus nocturnes was 3-0 burrito versus eager was 3-0 so the semi-finals ladies and gents this is going to be a really quick video um want to move on i don't want to babble on about picks and bans and stuff like that there was no point you all watched it you saw the ferocity of which burrito and the best showed um please go and check that vod out because you're gonna want to watch that and take notes because it will improve your gameplay i really really mean that it will improve your gameplay by taking notes and learning from these teams um semi-finals now this is going to be the matchups of all time we could have a number of things happen we could have na versus eu eu versus eu eu versus australia australia versus na uh there is so much that could happen. District 69 versus the first Abyss. I'm going to call them the Abyss because they are that bloody deadly. Um, now, as we know, online, District 69 haven't beat uh, Burrito in the finals and taken a final off them. So they've always lost to the fin in the finals to Burrito. Now, Abyss came out and went 3-2-3 two, uh, two, against Burrito, meaning we are going to see one hell of a matchup now bear in mind this was 69 even though winning their group uh with a sub burrito are there with a sub however burrito have shown up knowing they can beat them district 69 we know can play on land perdo on androx is phenomenal but what did what happens then do they give up the eevee to josh kent which by the way is mind-boggling one of the best in the world it is that simple uh 
got he's got a little ways to go. I mean, Shipper and Josh Ken, they're gonna want to take Eva. So do they first pick the EV? Uh, leaving the Androx isn't that over the, you know it, it goes either way one way or another Evie's gonna go to Shipper one way or another Evie's gonna go to Josh Kent and we will see what difference this makes in the upcoming uh, games best of fives I do believe I'm not sure it might be a best of sevens I'm not entirely sure of that I think it's best of fives but District 69 will be one of the best uh, District 69 versus Abyss will be one of the best matches you'll ever see. Um, I can't see it being 3-0. I think there's going to be points either way. I can't see 3 zeros coming out of this in any shape or form. If it is, I will be... Like, I can see Abyss taking games. And I've said this before, and I was wrong. But I can see Abyss taking games. But hopefully, District 69 can beat them out and um, move on to the finals. And the matchup everybody has been waiting to see for forever. Match point versus Burrito. Now, the way things are going, this is looking like a a, a Burrito win. And I, I mean, no disrespect to Stolzy and the boys over there, but, you know, they struggled. They lost to, uh, lost to District 69. Burrito have been schooling District 69. I mean, now... Who knows? It could go anyway. Matchpoint are a phenomenal team and they do have what it takes to beat Burrito. They did have what it takes to beat uh, District 69. Sadly, they didn't. Let's see how it goes. They have to, All these teams have to bring their A game. Remember, you're playing for a lot of freaking money now. You, this is, you've got the best four teams in the world. These are your best four teams, period. Okay? Eager, fifth now. Eager, a fifth. Um... That's it. I mean, I'd like to see Team QG versus Ego, but obviously, sadly, we're not going to get to see that this tournament. But nonetheless, District 69, Abyss, Match Point, and Burrito are your best teams in the world right now. Abyss have come out to play. The rest of the teams have to look out because these guys mean business. Right, guys, remember, everything's been delayed by one hour. Uh, sadly, the, um, the cosplay contest, due to this whole delay, is no longer going on. Hyrus put out a massive... Uh, apology about that there's nothing they could do about it it's just weather man it's crazy uh like everything's been shifted an hour uh that's it guys thank you ever so much for watching remember if you liked it leave a like comment below your best moments of this tournament and uh let me know because i'm interested to know remember guys keep gg in and i'll see you guys in the realm